guys, it's your girl Reese coming at you. And I'm gonna say this right now. Y'all probably not gonna be able to hear me in a few minutes. And that's because my husband and my son is watching the game. But I wanted to come in right quick um, because I had a request from a few of you as to how I make my dirty rice. So that's what y'all hear. So I'm gonna have to do this quick. <laughs> uh, what I use is the Jimmy Dean sausage, and this is the regular 16 ounces, and I use a um, a pound and a half of ground beef, and this one was ground uh, ground chuck, and I use Zatarain's dirty rice mix, and this one is reduced sodium, and I also use the original. Okay, so in my pan, I have already, it's we in stereo in this house, y'all. I have already browned my sausage and my beef together. And you see there's barely any fat in the bottom. And that's because I used lean, very lean. It was 83% um, lean uh, beef. And so I'm going to pour my rice in. Let me turn around so you can see. Both packages of the rice in. And it calls for five cups of water, which is what I'm going to put in. Ooh, make a mess. That's three. I've measured things so much in my kitchen, y'all, that I know which of my cups that I can get that we drink out of a measure exact exactly five cups. See that big blue cup? That's three cups, and this is two, so that's five cups of water. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do? Add a little garlic powder, which is what I have here, just a little bit. Do y'all hear my husband? If you hear him say a bad word, excuse me, y'all. I'm glad Corey's in the back locked up. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of onion powder as soon as I can find it. Which is what I'm using here. So that's three cups of water there. And I don't add them all at once. I add it gradually. Stirring. Loosening up anything that might be on the bottom. That's, you know, of course it's not burned, but sometimes your meat stick to the pan or your rice. Get that welling. <clears throat> mixed together. And now I'm going to add the other two, which I'm not going to add it all at once. I left about a cup in there. And I'm going to let that simmer for a little while. And then I will add in the rest. Now, at this point, if you want to make it into um, like a Spanish rice, add just some diced tomatoes and a little um, Spanish seasoning or something like that. Saison seasoning, which I don't have anymore at the moment. But that is it, guys. Let me go back here so y'all can hear me because my husband is beyond loud. So I'm in my little girl's room. So I came and I'm gonna turn the light on. So they're not home. They spend the weekend with my mom. And I'm trying to find Corey. He is in one of these rooms. I'm gonna look in the closet right quick. Corey, he not in there. Corey, so he not in here. So he must be in the other part of the house. But I hope you guys can hear me. Um. Yeah, it's loud. That's my husband's man cave up front. And y'all see my girl's closet. All they have in here is like coats. Ooh, this child got a burn in her coat. Oh, that's got to go in the garbage. But just coats 
and their book bags and blankets. I love these little hats that I have right here. I love these little hats. I bought them for them for Halloween one year, but um, their mom is a little unusual. Well, y'all, ooh, I'm finna fall. Their mom is a little unusual. And I dress a certain type of way, and so I'm a little different than some people. And I can come up with a costume for my kids really, really easy. Ooh, y'all, I am getting so juicy. Look at that. Ooh, that is not good. Hey, I need to do from this way. Well, I'm always looking up, because that right there is not cute at all. But anyway. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Y'all, your girl getting old and super juicy. Do y'all hear me? But y'all, I enjoyed my last two days. I had a, a little crying spell yesterday, which is all good. It was good for the spirit, good for the soul. And I had a wonderful conversation with one of my YT sisters yesterday. And she blessed me once again. Hey, sugar. And um, today, of course, yesterday and today, we spent time with each other. My husband, Corey, and I. If that was the only we were the only ones home and we enjoyed ourselves today we had a ball this morning we had bible study together um the three of us and we talked and we ate breakfast together i'm gonna sit down y'all because i'm a little winded and um so we had a good time just really enjoyed it and it was much needed some quiet time um, some time that he and I could have to ourselves because when it's just us and Corey y'all Corey be about his own business do y'all hear me I don't know where he at please find him for me and so um, my son Darian just got home he spent he was gone for the weekend and um, he's off all this week so most likely he won't be here so you know his off days and this is weird even though he stays here you know he's either at work um, but it's not like he stay here he's always gone he's at work or he's out with his friends so he just leave put it this way he leave his clothes here he take a shower here and that's it okay and um, so that's pretty much it y'all we, we had a good time I've got laundry to do, which I'm not going to do today. I will wait until during the week when the kids are, they don't, I think they only have two days of school, but, um, so I'll wait until they, I don't have to wash clothes no more this week because I know when they home and out of school, they stay in their pajamas all day. So I'll probably Tuesday, um, and Wednesday when I'm cooking my Thanksgiving dinner y'all I don't know what we're gonna do for Christmas right now because you know Corey goes in the hospital so I can't say what my Christmas is gonna be like but glory to God God is still working in our favor y'all so I'm not gonna say that I'm cooking for Christmas because I just don't know I don't I don't know so. With that being said, y'all, before I turn this into a chit chat video, I thank y'all for watching and I love y'all. I sugar.